person walks through your neighborhood selling magazines. You may buy one, then later find you've been ripped off. So what do you do? One woman called for action. Here's Keith King. Elizabeth Mark, good evening. This happens all the time. Someone appears at your front door selling magazines and a hard luck story explaining how their life will be so much better if you buy a subscription. A Blue Springs woman fell for the sales pitch. She didn't get the magazine, so she called for action. Debbie Satterfield thought she was helping a single mom of two when she bought a magazine subscription. Now Debbie is feeling ripped off. It's not the money, it's really the principal thing because it, it sours me now to anybody else coming to my door. This summer, Debbie says a young woman knocked on her front door selling magazines. Said she's a single mom. Said she needed the sale to get points and get off welfare. Being a nice person, Debbie bought a subscription to Healthy Cooking Magazine. Six issues for 30 bucks, plus an extra $15 for shipping. Ouch! I found the magazine online. Seven issues for only $12.98. Get her off of welfare and government assistance. And I played into it and agreed that well, maybe we can help this young lady out. Here it is eight months later and still no magazine. Debbie called for action. I contacted the company Hand Up Distribution in Sacramento, California through Facebook. Mario Hope says Debbie is in the process of getting a refund. Hope says they've had to refund 150 customers and that the company has been rebuilding for the past five months. Now Debbie waits to see if she'll get her money back. That I don't like that this man is sitting in Sacramento, California, picking on innocent people in Blue Springs, Missouri, and who knows how many other little cities and towns. I found Hand Up Distribution on the Better Business Bureau website. It gets an F rating. Debbie's advice for you, look up the company on the BBB website before buying a magazine from a door-to-door -door salesperson. And Debbie's advice is certainly good. Always check a company's rating on the BBB or at least do a quick Google search to see if anything comes back that puts that into question that company's business practice. Now, the company representative says that he hopes to get everyone refunded, including Debbie, by the end of March. We'll keep on top of this and let you know what happens. For Call for Action, I'm Keith King.